Hello and welcome back to this European Schoolnet Academy Games in Schools course. This is module four where we're going to be talking about what can we learn from games and in this short video we're going to be talking about virtual reality. In the last video we looked at augmented reality. Augmented reality is when we're able to view digital data over a real place but virtual reality is very different. Within virtual reality you are completely consumed within that immersive experience both visually but also increasingly from an audio point of view as well. The challenge with virtual reality is that it's still quite expensive despite the massive steps forward that have been made in recent years and a huge investment from a number of technology companies. There is however one thing that I think will be very very appealing to schools and this is something called Google Cardboard. Google Cardboard is an open source virtual reality viewer which is made out of cardboard. You can buy them for as cheap as one or two euros on the internet and they haven't got to be the official Google one because the, the, the actual design is completely open source. And then what you do is you insert your mobile phone into the Google Cardboard viewer to give you that immersive visual experience. Yes, the experience might not be as good as a really expensive headset, but when you combine a, a Google Cardboard headset for one or two euros plus a smartphone, which you've probably already got or your students have already got, it does start to become a really, really useful classroom solution. The other thing that's really helped the development of Google Classroom in recent years has been the apps that have associated with it. There is, of course, an official Google Cardboard app, which allows your students to explore some famous landmarks around the world. For example, the Grand Canyon or the Eiffel Tower. You can even go underwater and explore the Great Barrier Reef or go up to space and explore the International Space Station. These provide great context for things like creative writing and also to help young people understand what different parts of the world look like. As well as the Google Cardboard app, there's also the Google Cardboard camera. With the Google Cardboard camera, you can take your smartphone and go to a place near where you live or a place that you visited and capture 360 images, which that can then be viewed within the um, viewer itself. Again, <clears throat> there's lots of applications for this, such as you could, for example, create a 360 tour of your school. And for new children that were visiting the school, they could view the school in 360 before visiting. And this might hope help remove some issues to do with anxiety and therefore improve the health and well-being of the students. When we combine the Google Classroom app and the Google Classroom camera, we've also now got something really, really special in terms of a new app, which is called Google Expeditions. And Google Expeditions has moved on considerably in the last 12 to 24 months. What a Google Expedition is, is that it's a way for students to be able to view uh, a place through the 3D viewer but you to be able to control what they view and then direct them towards certain things as the teacher. And you can do this with all of your class. It's a really, really powerful application. Not only can you view the expeditions that exist within the library, but once again, you can combine your own expeditions and upload them for other people to view. Now, wouldn't that be an absolutely brilliant classroom project? If you're thinking to yourself, well, do you know what? That sounds great, but I've got no idea how to go about developing this virtual experience. You might want to check out the, the class, the Cardboard Design Lab. The interesting thing about this application is it helps you develop a 3D experience and a virtual reality experience. But in doing so, it also gives you tips on what a good virtual reality experience looks like. Again, this is a great way to introduce students in terms of what makes quality virtual reality. There are a few other things that I wanted to mention. One of them is one of my favourites is, is an application which is called Titans of Space and this allows you to explore the solar system in a way that you've never experienced it before. It really is powerful and once again not only is this useful for teaching things like physics or space but also think a little bit about how it might be used into other areas of the curriculum for example creative writing, you know, math mathematics you know, or even talking about things like geo and international space politics. There's lots of other assets that you can use through your virtual reality viewer. Um, and here are two of my favorites. The first is youtube.com360. And this is just a collection of 360 videos that users have up uploaded. Just like the normal uh, YouTube, uh, there's lots of content on here which is highly appropriate for education and some content on here which might not be relevant. But again, it's a great place to start and a really, really good way to introduce your students to new places. The other website that I wanted to mention is something which is called universive.com. And the thing about universive.com is that this is the, the largest collection of educational games experiences for virtual reality. 
Here you can play simple games and you can explore places uh, all around the world. The example that's shown here on the screen is for Stonehenge. Now, wouldn't this be fantastic for teaching about um, history um, and ancient history? Really worth checking out. And the final thing that I just wanted to mention, for those of you that are really interested in taking this further, is just a case study which has been produced by the Intel Group by a teacher in the UK called Ian Phillips. Ian, I think, is perhaps one of the leading experts in virtual reality for the classroom. And what I've done is I've put the link to this case study for you to have a look at onto the online forum. So that's the end of this short video about virtual reality. What I would like you to do is I would like you to go away and go onto the Google Cardboard app and see if you can find any places in there that will be really relevant for you to explore with your students. Really looking forward to seeing you in the next video and don't forget to use the hashtag games course to help us bind this conversation together.